Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day I've selected a composer who's had a role to play with one or both of these organizations. And today it's the marvelous French composer, Joseph Cantaloube, born in 1879, died in 1957. He was not only a composer, he was a musicologist, and he was passionate about the folklore and beauty of that area of France called the Auvergne, a region in the central part of France that's very mountainous and a place that lots of folks love to go for hiking and skiing. He collected traditional French folk songs, not just of the Auvergne, but other regions surrounding that part. And he started working on these settings. They were for large orchestra and soprano, and they're just marvelous. They're called the Songs of the Auvergne. And he started collecting them in 1924 and finished the collection in 1955. But before we do that, I found another piece of his that I just found charming. I found this at this wonderful, um, music store in Paris, which anytime I've been in Paris, I've always gone to La Flûte de Pont. And here it was, a little setting of a traditional European carol. Actually one you all know, but we know it as O Tannenbaum. He translated it into French, Mon Beau Sapin. And it's a sweet little thing of three verses. You'll recognize it but I think you'll love the harmonies that Cantalube gives to this one. music of Joseph Cantaloube. Well, as I mentioned, the piece of his that I have been fond of for years, and I think the first time I heard some of them would have been in the 19, late 1960s when I was in the Minnesota Orchestra, and they performed some of them, and I went, ooh, these are beautiful songs, and I didn't know about Cantaloube. I went and got a recording by this wonderful woman, Natani Davrath, and she sang them in a kind of folk, um, a folk manner that really made sense. I've heard them other times when they've been, I think, too straight and they don't really have that flavor. And then several years ago for Vocal Essence, 
I thought we need to hear some of these. People need to know about them. So of course I asked Maria Jetty if she would sing some of Cantagoub's songs and she did. So if we're going to have one of the songs of the Auvergne song, it had to be today with Maria. So please join me and we're going to do one of these from uh, the third set. There's about two dozen of these songs that are out there that he did. And you should look them up, Songs of the Auvergne. They're absolutely wonderful pieces of music. Philip, yes. I think you need to tell them what the song's about. Tell them what the song's about. Right. In the Auvergne, of course, one of their big occupations is watching sheep in the rocky, craggy mountain heights. And this girl has been watching sheep since her childhood, and she also likes to spin the wool. So she's up there with her sheep, and spinning, and she needs someone to watch the sheep while she's busy with her work. And so she uh, asks a local shepherd uh, to take a look at them. And uh, for payment, he asks that uh, she give him a kiss. And to show that she's not an ingrate, she decides she'll give him two. Have a wonderful day.